The BenchPro 4100 Western Processing System is an automated processing system for use with amino detection applications. It consists of the BenchPro 4100 card processing station, BenchPro 4100 Western cards, and BenchPro 4100 reagent vials. With its onboard digital display and intuitive interface of arrows and function keys, creating and running experiments this reproducibly has never been so easy. Turn the BenchPro 4100 card processing station on by pressing the power switch on the lower left side of the instrument. The BenchPro 4100 card processing station comes pre-programmed with a number of standard protocols and offers the capacity to store 17 additional custom protocols. Running a pre-programmed protocol involves three steps. First, using the up and down arrow keys, select your protocol and press the OK button to enter your selection. Then select the size of the blot you intend to process, half blot or full blot, and press the Run button to initiate the run cycle. Prepare the following items when setting up a processing run with the BenchPro 4100 card processing station. One new BenchPro 4100 Western card, one 250 milliliter bottle, one 125 milliliter bottle, and three 25 milliliter reagent vials. In order to prevent cross-contamination, it is important that you replace reagent vials each time a new set of reagents is used. The bottles for use with washing buffer and water can be reused, provided they are adequately rinsed following each run. Prepare the reagent following the same guidelines that you currently use for manual processing. Using the appropriate dilution ratios for your reagents, prepare 18 milliliters each of the following solutions. Blocker, primary antibody, and secondary antibody solutions. Note, while the half blot uses 13 milliliters of each solution, a full blot requires only 18 milliliters of each solution. Washing buffer and water bottles can be filled to 250 milliliters and 125 milliliters respectively. For your convenience, the tray has been laid out to reflect the order of steps in the protocol. With your vials assembled in the appropriate positions, make sure that the waste basin is free of any liquid as the liquid sensor will detect waste presence and will not allow the run to begin until the basin has been emptied out place the entire tray assembly into the reagent drawer close the reagent drawer you are now ready to move on to card assembly it is important to minimize the time lapse between protein transfer and immunodetection therefore make sure that the reagent setup is complete before you begin to prepare your membrane Following protein transfer, wash the membrane in water according to your standard Western analysis protocol. Usually, membranes are washed twice in water. Dried PVDF membranes are wetted in methanol and then washed twice in water. Remove a BenchPro 4100 Western card and the Western membrane holder from their respective packaging. Several features, such as the card spring holders and the card guide, are built into the BenchPro 4100 card to ensure that the card can only be inserted in a specific way into the instrument. With the blot chamber toward the back of the device, insert the card into an appropriate slot on the device. A properly set card will produce a slight audible click, reaffirming that the card is locked in securely. The slot you choose should align with your row of assembled reagents. Use forceps to place your membrane into the membrane holder. Make sure the membrane is resting flat against the holder surface, with no portion of it protruding outside of the holder itself. Using firm and constant pressure, insert the membrane holder sandwich into the blot chamber. Note that in its final position, the bottom of the membrane holder should rest flat against the base of the blot chamber. Now the membrane is inside the membrane holder, and the membrane holder is inside the card. Once the card has been set, press the Run button to initiate the run cycle. At this point, you are free to walk away from the device for the duration of the run. Information on the length of the run, the current process step, and the amount of time remaining with the current step are displayed on the screen. All steps and times will update continuously, providing you with up-to-date protocol information on the screen at all times. Note that any program started can be aborted at any time during the run. Simply press the function key under the Abort icon and confirm your decision by pressing the function key under the Yes icon.
This will end your run and allow you to take the card out of the BenchPro 4100 card processing station. Should you choose to restart your run, you'll be asked to use a new BenchPro 4100 card. Using the old card in a second run will compromise blot efficacy and instrument safety. Utilizing a system of pumps and valves, the BenchPro 4100 card processing station distributes a series of reagents to the western card that holds the membrane being processed. When the protocol begins, the first solution is drawn from the first position and fills the card. The solution is circulated within the card to ensure proper exposure of the membrane surface to reagents. Agitation is added for wash steps. After incubation, the solution can either be sent to the waste container or recirculated back to the original vial. As the instrument performs all the blocking, washing, rinsing, and incubation steps, reagents are channeled to and from the card containing the membrane being processed. All steps between membrane blotting and detection are performed inside the instrument, yielding accurate experimental data and highly reproducible results. The default pre-programmed protocols are designed to return the primary antibody back into the original vial. Custom protocols can be programmed to save any of the reagents for reuse, if required. Following a completed run, only a minimal amount of cleanup is required. Simply remove the card from the instrument, discard the contents of the basin in an appropriate manner, reassemble the reagent tray, and your device is ready for the next run. If you choose to utilize the instrument's waste valve, cleanup will be limited to removing vials and bottles. For more information, go to www.invitrogen.com forward slash BenchPro4100.